Middle East organizations have the worst internal trust rating in the EMEA region, according to a new poll by Franklin Covey. What does that mean? It means from a total of 23,545 respondents from 331 organizations surveyed in this region, firms scored 49 out of 100 and 52 out of 100 for team trust and organizational trustworthiness, respectively. Well, Dr. Stephen R. Covey, a leading management expert, is set to host a forum on trust and leadership together with his son, Stephen M. R. Covey, at the Jumeirah Beach Hotel here in Dubai on April the 20th. They will discuss the issue of rebuilding trust in regional organizations. Dr. Stephen R. Covey's The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People has become one of the best-selling business books ever. On the line now from the Al Attar Business Tower is uh, Murad Suleiman, who is General Manager of Franklin Covey Middle East. Well, thanks a lot for joining us uh, on the line. I mean, according to your recent poll on trust, less than half of respondents said that they understood the direction of their company, yet only 3% of this figure could actually describe this in words. Why is this the case, do you think? Uh, well, I think for uh, many facts uh, is that a lot of the organizations were uh, in a boom in the economy. And a lot of times when you have a, a big economy running uh, in the growth, uh, they overlook a lot of the fundamentals of a business, like how do you build trust with the, with the employees you have, how do you focus in your strategy and the, the direction that you want to go to. So uh, knowing that the Middle East has just uh, passed a stage where there was a bubble, uh, it was uh, very big in the economy growth. Uh, I think it impacted the way that the leaders have focused their time in building trust with their organizations. What are the key points that emerged from the survey? Well, I think uh, a lot of things came out because this survey is not in, in, in trust in itself uh, only, but it talks about, for example, organizational direction. Uh, and uh, again, the number was very low where it, it came to 54% of the employees in you, what is the organizational direction? Which means one of two, one of every two employees, one of them doesn't know where the organization wants to go, which is shocking because then you have half of your force do not know what you want to achieve and they will have to assume. They have to assume what uh, direction they, the organization is going and work accordingly. And that's when you have the misalignment, uh, as well so as the synergy uh, between departments that was very low, uh, team trust was very low, and the commitment. There were some areas that were uh, in accordance to the average of the world. How can this seemingly dire state of affairs be turned around, and uh, what are the tangible benefits to the company? I think uh, for a lot of leaders, they believe that trust is a soft issue. It doesn't return much to the organization. Um, well, in contrast, uh, building trust, having in your executive agenda to build trust within, within the organization really pays off. It pays off to the shareholders, it pays off to the people, and it pays off to you in the end of the day in your books because when you have 100% of your employees they actually trust you and they trust your direction, they trust uh, your strategy, they're committed to it, you get a much higher productivity. Now in today's climate of corporate malpractice and white collar crime becoming more widespread, can we really blame staff for losing confidence in the system as it were? You can't blame the economy for mistakes that we've done when the organization executives don't spend time aligning the organization, clarifying direction, you know, making sure everybody's committed to that strategy. Um, you can blame the employees for not trusting you, whether we are in economic crisis or not. And that, in return, will make the organization suffer. Now, Dr. Stephen Covey's bestseller, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, has reached its 20th anniversary milestone. Uh, this book has also been described as one of the most influential books of the 20th century. Is it still relevant today and in particular to this region? 
Stephen was able to put a model for effectiveness, for increasing productivity that starts with every employee. And if you are successful in doing that, then you, you, it will pay off, <coughs> excuse me, it will pay off for the organizations to become effective. And it has been well received because it's very principle centered. It's timeless, it doesn't matter whether you are in economic crisis or not, you know, these principles hold at all time. Dr. Covey is coming to Dubai on the 20th of April to speak on uh, building and executing trust within companies. Uh, the talk's been described as tailor-made for the region. Can you explain more? Sure. Well, we have two events. We have the one on the 18th in Saudi Arabia, and we also have another one in Dubai on the 20th of April. And both of them are aimed to actually talk about these shocking numbers, uh, as you described, when it comes to organizations in the Middle East. What we noticed in the survey, they are suffering uh, deeply from two aspects. Lack of trust, which we talked about a little bit, but as well lack of execution. Uh, lack of execution, these, the executing these strategies that we set every year, and we come at the end of the year and say, oh, we didn't achieve it, so let's make the strategy better next year. And again, that repeats in the following year of not achieving. All right, well, we've uh, sadly run out of time. Thank you very much, Murad Suleiman, for coming on today's program. Well, there we are. That's it for this edition of Inside Business. You can contact us, as ever, by writing directly to ib at city7tv.com. But for now, from all of us on the business desk, goodbye. We'll see you again soon.